Yes, absolutely. So, yes, and good to meet you too. Yes. Okay. <laughs> So I'm Pete Licence and I'm an academic, I'm a chemist at the University of Nottingham and at the moment I'm sitting in the sun in Addis Ababa University. Um, I'm here for, for two reasons, firstly because I'm an adjunct professor at this university and I give lectures on sustainability and green chemistry and secondly we've got ongoing research projects with the university and the faculty and really that's why I'm here now to talk about progress and to see where we're going next. Okay, yes. Of course, with the new machine, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the first rules that I have with collaborating is that I've got to be able to get on with the people that I'm working with. <laughs> Salam. So, at least you know, you know. <laughs> and we had a chance meeting with some people from Addis Ababa University, and we really got on very well. And we decided that we wanted to do something together to further green chemistry and sustainability across Sub Saharan Africa. Thank you very much, Professor Raju. So I'm just turning the lights off so you can see the screen better. For the last five years, we've run an annual conference on green chemistry. And this year's conference is focused on high school children. What we're really trying to do is to enthuse the next generation of scientists for Ethiopia. So I'm going to be speaking to a group of high school children taken from 28 of the schools from across the greater Addis area. So there'll be very, very good students, both male and female, attending the workshop and hopefully we're going to try and inspire them to take up a career in science. And the reason why I showed you the planet Earth like this is to try and build up a concept in your mind that the planet is on its own in space. Well, green chemistry is a rather unusual area of science because it's an area of science that absolutely everybody cares about because they care about the environment and the quality of life. So it's important for the, for the population that we do sustainable development and that we build things using more environmentally sensitive methods. Did you get footage of how um, the, the Ethiopian television works? The, the interviews are a big difference to BBC interviews, big difference. I can tell you now that since Christmas this is my fourth trip and it's not even the end of February yet so we get a lot of time on an aeroplane which is sometimes quite good fun and uh, we get a lot of time in hotels in some quite exotic places well I've come to Ethiopia this is my tenth trip to Ethiopia I've been to South Africa to Ghana to Hawaii Antigua all over the United States Russia Japan which was really good fun and well I'm off to Australia in a few months and I think that's the only continent that I've not been to yet. Oh I think it I think it's definitely a perk it's something that I enjoy doing and traveling and seeing the world and meeting new people and, and having new experiences it broadens the mind and allows you to think outside the box on very many occasions.